What's going on guys? Today we'll be going over how to build a competitor Facebook ads agent that notifies you when your competitors launch new Facebook ads. And what's gonna, what it's gonna do is that it's gonna pull these ads, analyze the script, analyze the creative, right? And email you a doc just like this when they launch new ads with a breakdown of everything, okay? So that's gonna include a breakdown of the actual ads itself and recommendations that are tailored to your brand, okay? And yeah, this Google Doc is what you would get from this workflow I built out. And I'm going to show you guys how I built this. So first things first is that we need an initial database. Okay. So when I say initial a database, uh, when we, in order to know that uh, your competitors actually have new Facebook ads that have been launched, right? We need a database of your, their existing ads, right? So what we're going to do is build an initial database of your competitors ads that are currently up. So what I use to scrape these ads, by the way, is scrape creators. They have actually a really good documentation to pull a uh, Facebook ads. So let me go to this. So yeah, they have this one right here, get the company's endpoint. So I would use this. This is what I use is they make it really fucking simple. You, just, you could even just copy this into cursor and it'll just write up the code for you. So they have this part that I really like, but yeah, you just have to give in, you just, all you do is just drop in the page ID and it'll pull the company's Facebook ads accordingly. So we'll pull in everything. All right. Pull in everything makes it very easy to download it yourself and then put and to analyze everything. But so yeah, we use scrape creators to pull the Facebook ads of all your competitors. If it's a video and they'll mark it in scrape creators, if it's a video, then we analyze the creative with cloud glue. So cloud glue is just a tool I use to uh, actually like pull data from videos just because of like sat, say chat GPT, Gemini can pull uh, data from LM or Gemini can pull data from videos as well. So you can use that. I'm not sure if their API can do it, to be honest. I just don't have the Gemini API personally speaking, but you use cloud glue and potentially Gemini just to analyze the actual videos and pull like the hook, the visual hook. Cause again, we don't want to just pull information on the transcript of the video. Say it's a video ad. You want to pull like, say what's happening visually what's happening from a character level, like who is, summarize the character uh, in this video, the setting, like all that shit, right? So Cloud Glue lets you do that. Gemini might, don't quote, quote me on that. But nonetheless, we use Cloud Glue if it's a video, and then we just use, uh, an, uh, analyze it with OpenAI if it's an image, okay? So pretty straightforward. From there, we store in the database. And so in this database, it'd have the, everything we just collected, plus the ad IDs. And then for in terms of actually creating the brief, in terms of like real time, so essentially you just have this trigger be running like say every hour, every five minutes, every day, really up to you on the frequency and how much like, uh, I guess like credits you're willing to spend and shit like that. But let's just say this is ran every hour. Okay. So every hour we're going to pull our competitor Facebook ads with scrape creators. Okay. And what we're going to do is compare those new IDs, all the IDs that we just scraped with those in the database. Like if there's stuff that aren't in our database, then those are new ads that are launched. And then from there, we do the similar steps. So if it's a video, we analyze the creative with Cloud Glue. If it's an image, we analyze it with OpenAI. We push everything we, we extracted into a prompt with the past briefs that we've done in the past. And that way that what, when we do this analysis on these current, this current new ad set, right? we have the most recent data so it can start to understand trends of like what the, what your competitors are doing as well in terms of like memories. Cause again, we want to understand, we want this AI not to understand just not what is happening right now that your competitors are pushing out, but you want to understand like what they've been doing as well. So it has that additional context so that it can make the best brief for you possible. Again, cause that's what a real employee would do. Right. And obviously you want to include context on your actual product as well. So like, say market research, what you guys sell, who you guys represent, things like that. Okay. So you push all this into a prompt and then we summarize it with AI just by like, again, calling that prompt, push it to a Google doc, and then we trigger it with an email notification. So, so you guys, this is actually a pretty straightforward build, to be honest, like nothing too crazy. All we're doing again is just pulling data with scrape creators, analyzing our data with AI, with cloud glue or open AI, creating a database. And then all we're doing is just triggering the rescrape again every hour, every five minutes, every day, really up to you again. And then it just does it like that. And, and just so that you guys can see for this as well, I made, this is the prompt I made for this. Okay. Again, I'm not some e-com guy and I kind of honestly didn't spend too much time on this actual prompt itself. Like, the, like it gets the bare bones done as you can see. Right. But I just said like, Hey, you're a world-class direct response marketer. Here's some brand context, context from like the last three briefs we've done. So that's going to get the last three times. Uh, we tra we found that any of our competitors have launched Facebook ads, okay, or launched new Facebook ads, and it's going to include the actual analysis of the new ads that were pushed, okay, 
And then some instructions just just to break down like what I want this brief to look like. Okay, so like executive summary, competitive overview, analysis on the image ads and the video ads, and then just some strategic recommendations for the brand. Okay, so I just include things like hook angle ideas, creative and UGC suggestions, positioning and funnel suggestions. Again, tweak this however you want. I do not own an e-com brand. Like you can just, and I wouldn't overthink this either. Like it doesn't need to be anything like too crazy, too intricate. Just include the things that you want in here, the type of like breakdowns that you're looking for, and it should do that just fine as long as we're giving it the right data, which is what we're doing over throughout all of this, okay? But yeah guys, that was that is pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys really enjoyed it and thank you guys so much.